All right, guys, welcome back. Um, this next part's gonna be pretty simple, the pop-up. So I'm just gonna copy from my GitHub here and just paste this in and format this. Actually, it looks ugly, that's fine. Um, but this should work because we're passing activity and we just need to make sure we name this activity name up here. And we did, so now let's try this. And I think we'll add one more item to that pop-up um, just because there's a lot of cool details we could display there. So now if we zoom in and click, it says lunch run. So that's cool. Uh, let's see what other cool piece of info we could add. Um, am I not? I'm not printing it, so I don't know what to look for. So let's... Um, let's just print out this. Dot name. Nope. There we go. All right. Uh, I don't know, guys. What looks cool? Distance, maybe. ID. That's cool. So if you didn't want to do the activity, like you could just do the uh, starting point and it would be a point on the map, but that's not as cool as the actual, the whole activity, but you could do it if you wanted. Uh, let's just do this, the total elevation gain. That's kind of cool. Well, you can see you can, you have access to all this data here. Um, so to do that, we're just going to have to slightly modify our um, what we're pushing. So remember in here, we're looping through every single activity and then we're pushing to a new array called polylines. And right now we're pushing activity positions and activity name. We're just gonna push one more thing called activity elevation. I just made that up, but um, that's going to be activity elevation. Oh, we didn't define it up here. It's going to be activity. I got to work. I'm used to Python and I usually use underscores. I should do camel case, but who cares? It's fine for now. Uh, data dot total elevation. Okay. And this is just going to be this. It looks good. Now, one other thing to consider, we have to add it to our interface. So we have to add um, let's call it activity elevation, and this is going to be a number, I think. Yep. All right, so that all looks good. We just we were pushing it to here now, so now we just need to reference activity elevation down here and instead of an h2 let's use a paragraph and just say total elevation gain and just add that in put curly braces around it because that's a variable and it's actually activity dot activity elevation <laughs> Probably could be a little bit smarter with these names, but uh, that's all right. So let's try that now. Total elevation gain, 16.1. 
Why is it printing it all weird like that? Total. Oh, I didn't put this whole thing in quotes like that. Cool, that looks a lot better. And of course I spelled elevation wrong, but that's all right. Um, cool. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. Uh, sorry if it was a little confusing. It's because I just learned how to do this myself uh, this morning. So I just, uh, this is the kind of thing like I'll do it once and I won't touch it again for months and I'll totally forget how to do it. So. That's why I like to make videos like right after I figure out how to get something working. Um, so I can reference it later if I need to figure out how to do this again. Um, but I guess something else we could we could do is we can change the base map. Um, Cause these base, this base map's a little boring. So I found if you Google um, leaflet base map providers, this will give you uh, a bunch of uh, different base maps you can use and I like to use Esri base maps um, and if you pick this Esri world imagery for example um, we're just interested in getting the URL so let me make sure that this works here So if we copy that here and paste it, should work. Let's just try it. And there you go, now we have a new base map um, and we should um, attribute it accordingly. So just copy this attribution here uh, and paste that in the attribution section just to be official. Okay. But yeah, there's a ton of different base maps on here. A lot of them are free like this one. Um, but yeah, th this might not be the best for, oh wait, I'm not looking at my app. <laughs> just trying to find my activity. Here it is. But yeah, that's uh, all I wanted to show you. Uh, sorry again if it, it was confusing. Um, it's because I don't fully understand uh, all the TypeScript and, and the React stuff, but I know enough to get this uh, displayed on the map. Um, so yeah, let me just clean up these console.logs. And all right, that's all. Uh, if you like this, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.